Good afternoon and namaskar. Well, uh, the rising bird is a symbol of hope and hope became manifestation. Myself Saswat Joshi, born and brought up in a rural village of Western Odisha, Titlagad, the hottest city. People always say that uh, the degree, the temperature increase till 50 degree. Lot of people they tell me, how can, how can you are so fair? I say, I think the color has gone due to the heat, I think. <laughs> Well, there's jokes apart, but um, coming from a traditional Brahmin family, taking dance as a career, it was just impossible. Again, impossible. That means I am possible. I said hope, the symbol of hope, it became and transformed into manifestation. My father, he was a teacher. My mother, she was a teacher. And uh, from the childhood, I always treat them as a teacher. I never understood that when they became my parents and when I will call them Baba and Ma, because always you see your parents as a teacher, that means 24 into 7 you have to study. And you must be thinking a studious boy when he gets time to dance yes that's a amazing thing in my life that's how rhythm came into my life dinag din dha that dha has inspired me the ghungru has inspired me i remember the dance has arrived through my father's percussions my father he has not learned anything, never gone into any school of rhythm or tal or any percussions and flute, but God has given with a lot of blessings. He plays all the instruments so amazingly. And every morning, my alarm clock was my father's percussions. Dinak din da, dinak din da, dinak din da, dinak din da. And that's how the rhythm came into my life. And the amazing thing was, he was keep on telling me, Babu, you have to study well. But I was keep on telling myself, Babu, you have to dance well. <laughs> because the conflict between father and son was, it was very rhythmic. It was not that easy. He was telling me to study and I was telling myself to dance. That's how we both grew together. And when I was in class 10th, everybody knows. Class 10th means you only study. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. This four grade, you have to study and study and study and study. Imagine, born and brought up in a traditional Brahmin family, a rural village in Titlagad, thinking and taking dance as a career, just impossible. But I was telling myself, one day I will reach and I will take my rhythm of my life to a next level. I was telling myself, but of course I need a stage, I need a platform where I'll perform. Imagine television was my first teacher. I had never learned anything from any guru since my childhood. Always watching television and my father was telling me, you are not studying and watching television. But unconsciously, I was learning dance from television. That is how I always say, media is my parents, media is my second father and mother, and television is my, I think, my biggest guru of my life. Guru means I believe, go means darkness, ro means lightning. A person who can take your darkness to lightning part, I think those are the guru, and television became my teacher, and the, that's how the rhythm I learned from television. I remember my father, at one point he failed and said, I can't understand you, what do you want to do in your life? And 
there I had the courage to tell, I want to dance. And he said, you want to dance, but you have not learned anything. What you will do in your life? Dance cannot feed you. Dance cannot take you anywhere in the world. Where do you want to go? I said, I want to fly like the birds. Like the birds are creating choreography. I want to create the choreography like the bird they do in the sky. He was stunned. He said, say again. I said, yes, Baba. Look at the bird. How beautiful choreography, how beautiful symmetry they are making. They fly so beautifully. They are creating a beautiful choreography. And that is inspiring me. Don't you think I can do that? I can reach to that level? He sat down. Tears when he, were in his eyes. He said, yes. This is the rhythm I was searching. I wanted to see my boy in the top of the world. And now I got convinced that you can reach top of the world. He asked me, have you learned something? I said, no. I said, no, Guruji, I have not learned anything. All the other gurus were there, and they were auditioning me, and they were saying, okay, we are saying a tal, dinak din dha, dinak din dha, dinak din dha, and you dance. I said, I don't know anything about all these things. I just know how to dance. He, they said, that, but this is the folk dance of, in, uh, of Odisha, and we cannot uh, just take you. I promised them, I said, I will do my best, and that is how my another birth started with Odyssey. I remember Guruji was and uh, in Odyssey research center, they were calling me Rangabati. Rangabati means a beautiful woman with full of colors. I was checking myself and said, me Rangabati? Maybe this is the rhythm which is inspiring them to tell me Rangabati. I accept that. I always ask myself, why they call me Rangabati? Why? That means something is special in me. The first question I ask myself, am I special? Am I different? Or am I looking too good, too handsome? That is why they are calling me Rangavati. <laughs> Later I realized the rhythm of my life, the ry rhythm of my fit has inspired them maybe. And thus, that's why I think I have created a beautiful choreography, beautiful dance form in the Bollywood film. And somehow people call me for that song, the Rangobati King of Bollywood. That is how I started my life with Rangobati. I think that was one word which has inspired my lifetime. I think till my last breath of my life, everybody will call me Rangobati. It was Guru's blessing. And the film Kon Kitne Pani Me given me an identity and choreographing in the Bollywood film and dancing in the Bollywood film has given me a place in everyone's heart. That is how I became the Rangobati again. Well, the Odyssey has taken me to, to different, different places and I travel almost 70, 80 countries all over the world. But I was always thinking, taking dance and keeping dance and uh, learning dance is one thing. Promoting dance is one thing. But preserving dance is something I should do it. That is how I took the advantage of the social media. Ten years back, I thought that maybe the social media will empower everyone in future. Or maybe it will give us another identity that is how I started another new thing, performing in front of all iconic towers. And within three, four days, it reached to millions and millions of people. It became an identity, our dance form in Eiffel Tower. It's not me, it is we we stood in front of Eiffel Tower. It was we all stood and sang Rosar Kelly dance in front of Eiffel Tower. All French people, when they dance in front of Eiffel Tower, it became an identity for Odessa. Whoever will search for Paris Eiffel Tower, look at the tourism point of view. It's growing in culturally and also with the tourism point of view. We are growing 
together. Whoever will search Paris Eiffel Tower, the first my dance is popping up in the internet. That is how we get recognition through media, through electronic media, print media, and through social media. And when it reached to millions and millions of people, then I thought, no, I have to take it to a next level. Every year, I, normally I go to three, four countries, five, six countries. And every time I search, now next what? I perform in Times Square. I perform in front of uh, Qatar skyline, Red Square Moscow. Everywhere I try to put our dance form in front, in front of all iconic towers. And it reached to millions and millions of people. Imagine that hope I said in the beginning, that manifestation I said in the beginning, it became a reality. I wanted to do it. And yes, we can do it. That is how I started my life and my rhythm of my life. And I remember my father, that conflict, my father and me. I remember one day he said, Babu, you are traveling everywhere in the world, but you are not taking me. I said, Baba, if you want to travel with me, I will take you. He said, no, I want to listen that your, your ghunguru, dhinak din dha. Can you take me? I said, tell me which country you want to go. He said, take me in your next trip. I remember the next tour was Malaysia and Indian High Commission was honoring me and I took my father and mother to Malaysia. I think that was the biggest and best stage for me. I was performing in international platform and my parents, they were sitting and they were just crying and tears in, in their eyes. I think that was the biggest achievement of my life, I believe. Then my stage performance is always, people say, is incredible, Shashwati. Your emotions are very correct and the way you express it, uh, it touch uh, very much uh, in, in our conscious level. You know the choreography, whatever I make, it has inspired me from the nature. I, I created a choreography on rain and you, you cannot believe, five days I was under the rain. I wanted to experience how the raindrop falls and how you feel. That is how I started, that is how I started my choreography. The first choreography on the rain, Rag Megh Mallar and Rag Mia Mallar. And this beautiful music has inspired me. The rhythm has inspired me. And the rain rhythm, it has inspired me. And it's very simple language. If I want to say something, maybe in international platform, people cannot understand. But if I use mudra, if I use hand gestures, people will understand. If I do this, maybe this raindrop is falling. If I do this, if I do this, they understand. If I do this, people will understand. If I do this, people will understand. Because the mudra, the gestures, the complete, uh, it, it complete uh, everything. Because if you want to create something without hand gestures, without feet moment, it cannot complete your dance. That is how I frequently travel to a lot of uh, places where I can, it can inspire me. The, the, the moment I enjoyed the rain, immediately, I started to dance and the choreography started. So, this is how my rhythm, my life has completed me and without rhythm, life is com incomplete. That is how everyone has dinak din dha in their life. And you need to research yourself, you need to understand yourself, but remember one thing, success is not an achievement, it is always a journey. And my journey is with my rhythm and I always feel that I am a a rising bird with lot of difficult time, with lot of hope, with a symbol that is manifestation. So this is all about me, myself, Saswa Joshi, again saluting every Indian.